I just had nothing better to do one night, went to a play, and uh, it was by some guy, like some, well, I was living in Cincinnati, some guy, I don't know who, and it was like instantaneous. It was like I could, I knew immediately when I saw this play that that was how, how I was hardwired. That's how I was meant to be thinking, working, writing. I uh, segued from being a poet to being a playwright, and it was a little bit the same experience I sort of discovered in playwriting uh, a genre in which I felt far freer to express myself, that I, that, that I could um, get at more things. I, I, uh, I, was, I simply felt more articulate as a playwright uh, than as a poet. And I was a published poet, and, and you know, it's, it's not that I wrote terrible poems. I just felt uh, much more of the world was at my fingertips as uh, uh, writing uh, dramatic material. I started out as a copywriter, wrote for the stage, then I write for television. And I don't go, oh, gosh, I keep changing careers. And I think it's, it's kind of important as a creative person to realize, oh, no, I keep evolving as an artist. And, it, it, and the palette keeps getting more varied, and the canvas keeps getting bigger, and that's OK. Ideas for plays really come from all sorts of uh, uh, sources. Sometimes, uh, a couple of times, I've had play commissions that were based on a particular topic. <laughs> I think neither one of us really discusses things as they're coming to. I think we're very private. We just sort of mull it all over. Like, I know the minute, and this just happened to me, true story, I had half a play, over half of a new play written for Oregon Shakespeare. I discussed it with, I was like, oh, I'm so excited about this play. I've got like 50 something pages. It's about this. And I told Lee, and I was like, I gotta, couldn't write another word. I, I don't know what happened. It just went out the window. And uh, that was the first time I did that and the last. I think it, it makes a lot of difference if you've gotten to a page that has the words the end on it. You know, if you, if you can hand somebody an entire draft, because a play is all about where it gets to. Uh, and, um, you know, if you don't have the full arc of its action in front of the reader, the reader, in a sense, is sort of uh, um, responding in the dark. What I really love in theater is the courage of actors to accept what's on the page and invest. Sometimes I think the difference between a, a really good or great performance and a good and great actor, from my perspective, is someone who can take the script and say, I'm not quite sure where this is going, but I am going to invest fully in this character's journey. And that investment is what will make that part work. Like I alone as a writer, I can hit my marks. I can, I can do a great job structurally, but if the actor will just let the guard down enough to trust that these words will get them to where they need to be. That's a gift. It's a tremendous courage on an actor's part and a great gift to the writer. You always learn. You're always developing. You're always uh, evolving as an artist. Uh, one of the great things about playwriting is, is it's a form of introspection and meditation. As you write, you're, in a way, talking to yourself. You're, you're putting your conscious uh, mind in contact with your unconscious as you create. And um, over the years, you start to kind of be able to look back through all your plays and go, oh, that was me, that was me, that was me along the way. And it's, uh, it's, it's a fascinating process.